Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's an Evoque 2.2 SD4 Prestige Auto. It's four-wheel drive, Euro 5, 2011 on a 61 plate. Has done 60,243 miles. Has a 0 to 60 time of 8 seconds. A top speed of 121 miles per hour. Out of a four-cylinder, 187 brake horsepower, 16-valve engine. Great value car this loads and loads of extras you could never charge or you could never ask what it's actually worth you just get all the extras included for the price of a normal evoke so we've got full pan roof rear privacy glass the black window surrounds the well plastic aluminium side flash multi-spoke alloy wheels the aluminium style vent the Range Rover embossed aluminium style vent on the bonnet. It's got 360 cameras. In case I forget later, you've also got blind spot indicator warning system and it'll park itself. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll have time today to do that video, but I, I will try. Just, just parks it, press a button, car parks itself. Can't go wrong. So front parking sensors, which are included kind of with the 360 all round system. You can switch the cameras to see when you're pulling out and from the back. It, it's, a, it's a great idea. Has the integrated rear tailgate spoiler. Reversing camera underneath there. Power open, power closed tailgate. Nice flat load area. It's got a get your home spare tyre, not an inflation kit. The hard rear load cover here. The little button to put the tailgate down. Again, the 360 cameras at the back, twin exhaust, the kind of departure scuff plate there. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. I'm not gonna get in the back, I'll show you a video of it, but I've, I've hurt my knee, it's strapped up, I can't bend my leg. You don't wanna hear me moaning, trust me. Three keys for this vehicle, so as long as you've got the key on you, press the brake, click, or press the start button, and that's it, it bursts into life. This one has got the full pan roof. Because it's so warm today, I've got the blind closed, otherwise it, my cameras would overheat. Um, service history, let me just tell you. So, 22nd 11, 2012, at 6,012 miles, Hunter's Land Rover, 25th the 11th, 2013 at 10,487 miles, Hunter's Land Rover, 14th to the 11th, 2014 at 14,937 miles, Hunter's Land Rover, 10th to the 12th, 2015 at 19,655 miles, Hunter's Land Rover, 20th to the 10th, 2016, Hunter's Land Rover, uh, service book stamper, didn't put the mileage in, however on the 19th to the 10th, 2016, on the MLT, it had done 22,788 miles. So, 11th of the 10th, 2017, at 27,539 miles, Hunter's Land Rover. 1st of the 10th, 2018, at 32,173 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. 2nd of the 10th, 2019, at 37,822 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. Uh, that's all we've got, but we'll service it again before it goes out. So it'll be all ready to go. Here we go. Let's get off. Get the air conditioning on. Yeah, so great specification on this. As I say, there's a the parking switch just there, so it will uh, parallel park. We've got heated seats, heated front screen. Power folding door mirrors. Um, I'm not waiting all day. In the door mirrors, you've got blind spot uh, warning indicator lamps. Very, very good. Good idea. Every, every car on the road should have them. 
we've got Meridian speakers, so it's a great sound system too. I personally like the three doors, you have more room to get in. The front seat, especially if you've got a bad knee, you know. <laughs> I'm not one to moan, but <laughs> it's a lot easier for me getting my leg in there. That's why I chose to do this one today. It's saying there that the smart uh, key, the battery is low. Well, there's three of them, so we'll have to work out which one it is and sort that out, but I'll just knock that off. Not going too far today. We're extremely busy, got lots to do. Front centre armrest and in there you've got a USB auxiliary in, two, two USBs, two USBs auxiliary in and uh, a power socket. The armrest, nice and big. Very, very comfortable seats. Recaro style seats. They're electrically operated, like so. You've got lumbar support. The cushion blows up. The cruise control. Just there, dead simple, set, it's on. One button, it's on. So if you touch the brakes, that will cancel it. You can decrease your set speed on the minus and increase it with the plus. Cancel it from the back and then resume it here. So if I cancel it there and then click resume, it goes back to where it was. You will also cancel it if you touch the foot brake like so. And then again, you can resume. Nice clear display, height and reach adjustable steering wheel. We've got paddle shift here, change down on the left or command shift as they call it, and up on the right. Lovely, lovely car. Now we've got going a bit, I'll turn the aircon up a little bit, put the blind back. You can see what a difference the panoramic roof makes. It's a nice light interior, ivory interior, I think it is. Nice light interior, it's a great color combination. Nice contrast stitching too. Gray panel in the back seat. Just a lovely thing. Touchscreen sat nav. Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Just here, you've got your terrain response. You've also got a hill descent there, so click that, keep you at a certain speed. And you can actually regulate the speed from the cruise control buttons. So if you want to go down faster, click plus. And if you want to slow it down even more, you're getting a bit windy, you click the minus, it slows the vehicle down. Great system. That's your heated front screen, heated rear screen, your air conditioning controls, just there, cup holders, another power socket, nice kind of louvered finish so you don't see when you know cups in there, you can cover it up and you don't see all the boiled sweets stuck in there like you usually see in cars. Just a nice car. Oh, actually I didn't realise, come through the light slate much, I didn't realise it's three position electric memory seats too. So it's not just electric seats, it's electric memory seats. Nice turn of speed. Good looking car too. Just check the uh, door mirrors, 
get them sorted, and then we'll tuck into the uh, inside lane. We're doing 60 miles an hour at the moment, and again, that's it. That's your cruise control arm. Increase it like so, and it's showing going up the scale there. Sure, what he was up to. So, you've got kind of the walnut wood trim there on the dash. Bottom half again is ivory, so contrast dash two. Your phone controls here, your voice activation. I'm not sure whether this has a TV. TV. Yes, it does. It has a TV too. Wasted time, to be honest, if you're driving it. It's all right to keep the uh, your passenger occupied. But <laughs> talking about keeping your passenger occupied, it's also got the dual screen display. So even if you've got the television on, the driver can't see it, but the passenger can see it. The driver can actually have navigation on like so. Now, as I've just said, I can't tell. Low fuel warning, bloody neck. But I can see the sat nav, the passenger, if it's switched on, because I can't see it, the passenger can watch the TV while I'm using the sat nav. You know, it's a, it's a really fantastic idea. I forgot to do the parking. That's the parking switch. Two jet skis in front of us. Nice looking car from the outside, nice shape. Personally, with the three door, I like the longer back windows. I just think it suits the car better. Come off the motorway here. So, anyway, I'll finish the test drive there. Lovely car. Um, not a lot to say about it. Good spec, nice colour, drives great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.